Hey, hey, happy Friday. Woohoo! Friday, another week is done and you guys are working super hard. I'm so proud of you. We got all of your work back and all that hard work. Amazing. We're so proud of you. Okay, so I found another super fun story for us. Let's see what it is. Princess Frog. Princess Miranda was tired of being a princess. She was tired of dressing up. She was sick of crowns and jewels. You have to wear them, said the queen, because you're a princess. One day she went to see her godmother, who was a witch. Turn me into something different, she begged. So Miranda's godmother turned her into a frog. Miranda liked being a frog. She liked floating on lily pads and leaping through the leaves and catching flies. Gross. One evening, she leaped into a park where a young gardener was working. Look at that frog, the gardener said to his friend. Let's catch it and keep it in the lily pond. The next morning, the gardener went to look at his very own frog. Miranda was leaping around. The gardener laughed. If I found a girl as funny as you, I might even marry her, he joked. Take me home, croaked Miranda. A frog that speaks said the gardener, surprised. So the gardener took Miranda back to his cottage and she sat beside him in a bowl. If you give me a kiss, said Miranda, I might even turn into a princess. I don't kiss frogs, said the gardener, but he did it anyway. Suddenly a pretty girl stood beside him. He fell deeply in love. Princess Frog, will you marry me, he said. But Miranda wasn't quite sure. No more dressing up, she asked. The gardener laughed. Jeans and no more crowns, said Miranda. They give me such a headache. The gardener laughed. No crowns here, he said. And I'll need to keep leaping, Miranda added. I'll build you a trampoline, promised the gardener. Okay, said Miranda. If I don't have to dress like a princess, I will marry you. And so they were married though the queen did not approve of Miranda's wedding outfit. <laughs> and of course, they lived happily ever after. Look at that trampoline. But every once in a while, Miranda slipped back into her frog skin and floated happily on a lily pad in the pond. Well, that was a super silly book. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great weekend, bye.